Hello and welcome back to the seventh house art studio. Tonight I am working with, I'm going to do half purple, half white. So here's my purple, here's my white, and I'm also going to add some, what is this, cool blue and pumpkin orange. I didn't quite have enough of pumpkin orange. It may, I made it a little too thin and I ran out of the acrylic paint. So I did add some Artist Loft iridescent medium to thicken it up. It also gives it a shimmer. I'm also going to be trying something new tonight that I've never, never done before. Um, I made a bottle of some soapy water with some dish soap in it. I believe it's Ajax. And when I'm through pouring and blowing, I'm going to spray that on there. Supposedly, it creates more cells when you do that. So, I'm going to see what happens. And of course, as always, I didn't plug in my hair dryer. Do it every time. Bear with me here. I have a, um, I think it's 11 by 14 Artist Loft canvas. Okay, so here we go. Half white, half purple. See what happens. Oh, that was a big blob. Okay, let's blow this out. My white looks a little thick. That should be interesting. torch out the air bubbles. Hopefully I can get my torch to work. It's been acting up lately. There we go. So this pops out the air bubbles. You don't want them to pop on their own because they'll leave like little pits where you can see the canvas and it just looks bad. Alright, you want to cover your sides. Make sure you get those, because when you hang it on the wall, you will see the sides. So you want those to look good as well. And if there's like spots on the sides that aren't covered, oh, I've got a little bit of white in that. You can just pull it off of the table, touch it up with your fingers. All right, there we go. And all right, um, I also want to put a little bit of black in this for some contrast. So in the orange. I have pumpkin orange with pouring medium, silicone oil, and the iridescent medium. I 
and in the blue it's the cool blue water pouring medium silicone oil and in the black that I always have ready-made along with white and the little bottles is pouring medium silicone oil water <clears throat> Let's do a little bit more of the orange and blue. Oh, kind of blobbed out on me. Okay, now you can add more purple paint or white paint, which is the negative space color. But sometimes I find that a little too much. So I'm just going to blow the colors over the negative space color over these colors to start with. I touched it again. Okay, and then we want to pop some more air bubbles. How do I want to blow this out? don't really like the up and down look a whole lot. Uh, so let's see. Maybe out and out. Some purple if I can get it. Black. Oh that man, it's creating a lot of cells and lacing on its own. Time to dip my hair into the paint. Break up that big blob in the middle a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. Wow, that created a lot of cells all on its own. So the torch will um, pop any more air bubbles and it also creates more cells and lacing so there is fire involved. Hmm. Do I want to try the soap? Well, I kind of mucked that up. So if you do too much blowing, it muds up. All right. I said I was going to try the soap, so let's try the soapy water. I might have sprayed too much on that one. I've never done this before, so I'm just seeing what happens. So far, I'm not too impressed. I keep putting too much in that one spot right there. Huh. 
Hmm. Well, I like the painting and it has created a lot of lacing and cells on its own. I really don't think the soapy dishwater did a whole lot. Not in my opinion and not how I did it anyway. So if you had any better luck with this technique, comment below. Maybe I didn't put enough soap in it. I put like a squirt in that big bottle. Touch up the sides again. Or maybe you need to let it dry more. I don't know. These sides are like dripping off. Maybe I made the purple two things. It doesn't want to stay on the sides. But also you also want to go along your bottom edge and remove the drips. You can use a popsicle stick or your fingers. Um, you just want to get the drips off because it looks bad after it dries. And if there's like big bumpy drips and someone wants to hang it on the wall, it's not going to lay flat and even. And it just looks bad. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> A lot of lacing, a lot of cells, but it did that mostly on its own. The soapy dishwater did not do anything for me tonight. And remember that everything you see on here is for sale. My email address is in the link, or not the link, in my about info. And also the link to my website. I had noticed some air bubbles in the white. I did do three other paintings last night with these same colors. Um, I will post those. I did a triptych and I'm waiting for them to dry and to put some polyurethane on them and put them all together before I post the video. So keep an eye out for that. And let me know what you think and what kind of results you got with the soapy water. Or tell me what I'm doing wrong. Alright, again thanks for joining the 7th House Art Studio. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and like and comment. Have a good night.